So that shiny new game just came out, Pacific Drive, and you want to know if it's worth your time, right? Well, let's take a look at the game first and first impressions. Keep in mind, this is not a full review, this is a quick look at the game. I played the game for around two hours, so I'll show some footage of the game while describing it and giving a few thoughts on it. First off, this game is awesome. I had zero idea what this game was coming into it, but I like games with vehicles, so I thought I'd try it out and... Wow, am I glad that I did. This is one of the most unique and interesting games that I've played in a while. So the backstory is that there was new technology being tested in 1947 at the Olympic Peninsula. Over the years, there were disappearances and unnatural things happening in that area. The strange area grew over time until, I think, 1985. The government fully withdrew from the area and sealed every access point to the Olympic Exclusion Zone, which is what it's now called. You start the game sitting in a vehicle and you seem to be a delivery driver. You drive down very roads until you reach an area with a bright orangish anomaly to your right. The car loses all power and you and the car are sucked directly into the anomaly. You wake up inside the exclusion zone. You know, the area where strange things happen and all points of access are blocked? Yeah, that area great. You then walk until you reach a shed that has a vehicle, and you hear people talking. I believe they are talking over a radio of some kind, presumably in the car. They guide you and they help you out, and then on the inside you have several controls here that you can do. You can turn the wipers on or off, turn the headlights on or off, start and stop the engine, put the car into drive and park, and get in and out of the car whenever you want. You can also open and close any of the doors on the car, and you can drive with them open if you want to as well. After driving a little ways, your car runs out of gas. You have to grab the gas tank from the back of the car and siphon gas from a broken down car. I love that you have to get fuel, and I love that there's this much control over the vehicle. You make it to an auto shop, and then this becomes your base of operations now. There's a lot of learning about this game that takes place in this area. You now have an inventory as well as a blueprints page, your current missions, a map, and a logbook that has various information and recordings. Blueprints are also needed in order to unlock more items to craft. There's way too much to go into much detail, but you can craft items, you can loot items, you can repair items, and you can destroy items to get their parts. Oh, and there's a dumpster that spits out parts and supplies. It's called the Friendly Dumpster. I don't even know. After you rebuild your car, you'll have some new items in it. You'll have storage in the back of it, as well as a mat that you can craft items while out of the garage. Also in the garage is a big map that you can plan how to get to your objective. Back inside the front of the car, there's new items up here as well. To the left is a screen that won't be used for a little while, but eventually I got a handbrake and with that screen I could select how to use it. The screen to the right shows your vehicle health. You can can't interact with that. And then the screen furthest to the right in the passenger seat is a map that you can look at while driving. Or you can click on it and make it bigger and you can set waypoints here and look around. Once you're done with all of that, which takes a long while, you can then go to the next objective. So on each map, there's an area that you can drive through and once you drive through that area, it'll pull up the map and then you can select your next destination that will basically teleport you from that location to the next location. But each location has to be connected. So if you want to get to one point that's really far away, you're going to have to drive through a different area to get to that area. It's not that confusing. From this point on, I was following all of the instructions on the top right of the screen, as well as listening to what they said that I should do over the radio. I got out and I did a lot of looting in each map, and I also came across frozen people and some robots floating around. I spent a whole lot of time in a few different maps. I was looting a whole bunch, I was doing the objectives, and then back at the garage in between objectives, I was repairing and upgrading my vehicle. I honestly have no idea where the story is going but I really enjoy this gameplay. I love the control that you have over your vehicle, and I really like upgrading and repairing it. I think I'm addicted to this game now. Also, the graphics look pretty good, and the car handles nice as well. Everything here is just good. There is no downside, though that's my personal opinion. Whether or not this is your type of game, I'll see you on the next one.